steady than usual. Visibility 5.4, temperature steady at 20. I don't know about this, Max. Come on, we've done this a million times. Green Diver, any sign of that wind wagon yet? Nothing. Red Diver? Nothing yet. I'm getting a bad feeling. Hey, don't feel bad. It's an extra 30 grand. We hit bottom. Found her. Looks like a pretty nasty crash. Chunk of fuselage at grid point 26. About three meters long. I'm moving in. Tri-Coastal Air's Cargo Flight 220. Tri-Coastal Air. So too did hopes that salvage diver Robin Morley will be found alive. However, rescue efforts are Air. continuing into the night as locals believe there's still a chance Morley survived a sudden underwater wave surge. The Tri-Coastal Air flight went down in Lake Superior last March 19th. Laura, Daniel. In other news, Jackpot. two young children were rescued what is it? by several I just heard about a disaster around a salvage operation for a crash cargo plane. I'm glad you keep up with the news, but what does it have to do with us? The owners? I checked it out with my people. They're a banning front. I'll bet whatever's on that plane is pretty valuable to Banning. That is pretty valuable to us. Get everything you can. You got it. The three crew members were rescued by the Coast Guard. The FAA retrieved the black box 
and flight data recorder, which cited the crash was a result of poor weather conditions. They found no further reason to raise the plane's fuselage or cargo of live lobsters inside. What would Baining want with a plane load of lobsters? This water is cold. Well, come back then. You're shivering. And you'll be shivering too. Better than you getting pneumonia. I don't think I can get it. Take it anyways. Why would you give me something to lighten the consequences of my own stupidity? You seemed a little distracted back there. The place where I'm from. My home. It's a place of incredible beauty. Teeming with life. Warmer water. Until banning. There was much suffering. And a great dying. I'm just worried that I'll never see it again. There's where we lost her. That search hit yanked her up hard. Pulled Max a little too, but it tore Robin's umbilical. What were they doing out there? This guy came into the shop. Wanted Max and Robin to go get something of his that was trapped on that cargo plane. Play like 22? I thought it was filled with lobsters. Yeah, so did we, but uh, the guy paid us three times our usual fee for not asking questions. Why do you ask Max and Robin? Well, they're pretty well known in the salvage business. Plus, our shop's right here in Michipicoten, and nobody knows these waters like Max. Who cares about what and why? My wife's out here somewhere. to write kids' books. She didn't want to dive anymore. I pressured her to do this one. I miss her. Do you know what it's like to lose the most important thing in your life? Yes. Hello there. You were on a foot search of the shoreline? Uh, yes, ma'am. Did you find anything? Oh, just a whole lot of birdie-doo and broken beer bottles. Well, 
Thanks anyway. Uh, yeah, you take care now. You too. For sure. I think Max believes that Robin is still alive. It's important for him to hope. Hope, it's... It's like wishing for something good to happen. Does it work? I hope so. I think I'm beginning to understand. Good. Look, we have to find out what Banning wants down there. Hey, buddy, yeah. you want to give me a hand? Max. What do you remember from the last time you saw Robin? She was there and then she was gone. I don't remember anything else. I could help with that. I'm a psychologist. I have experience with memory retrieval. You see, sometimes people don't remember the details the brain actually absorbs. And you think that could find her? I could try. I see the nose of the plane, the cockpit windows. There. There's the fuselage. Go there. I'm inside it. What do you see? Nothing. Look a little harder. Reach out to it. Can you touch it? Yes. What kind of container is it? It's, it's green. Words on it. Words? Uh, I can't read it. It's strange. Uh, no, no, it's not words. What is it? see there's something else uh... draw it for me good work Max They're Russian words. They mean destination kerbats. Caution. The newspaper said the destination was Greenland. Maybe that was the first leg of the journey. Kerbats. Situated on the Kar Sea, Kerbats is Russia's leading center for the dismantlement of... nuclear weapons. That's a symbol for nuclear power. Is that what's in the plane? Something radioactive? A nuclear warhead? Trouble sleeping. My condolences, Mr. Morley. 
My wife isn't dead. I'm sorry. Do I know you? I am the one who commissioned your company to make the salvage. Is there a way I can compensate for your loss? I haven't lost her. Please, tell me what I can do. I have people, resources... Can you find my wife? We'll have to find it ourselves. What are you doing? I'm going in to get it. But then you just can't dive in. Why not? Because there's things to consider, like breathing. You need some equipment. Why? Well, now that you've got a human body... Pretty good one. Shouldn't go around saying that. Oh, God knows. You just... Whoa! <laughs> Wait, um... Uh, look, Nathaniel, I'm sure you're a good swimmer, but let's, let's get you some gear. Just in case. <laughs> okay? Okay. something you want. Robin. Thank you. Thank you. She was picked up by a Russian cargo ship not long after you lost her. Upset, but otherwise fine. The ship's radio was down because of the storm. There's a search. We'll have to call it off. That's not wise. Why? Now, I need your help. No one must know she is back. Until you complete your end of our deal and retrieve my parcel. Great. I'll see you at the harbor tonight. You two have fun today. I'm just waiting for Max and we can go. Actually, we just want to talk to Max. Later. What is it? We're concerned, that's all. Just wanted to follow up on the hypnosis. Max should have been here an hour ago. Something's wrong. Excuse me. We'll come with you. When my umbilical snapped, I went to my bailout tank. Current took me way out. Fast. Then there was this ship. The radio was down. They only spoke a few words of English. I'm fine. Really. Mr. Banyan was right. Can't let anyone know I'm here. this over with. What? Why not? I, uh... I just want to be left alone. What the hell are you talking about? That's your wife out there. I can't! 
Not today. People have different ways of coping if Max doesn't want to... Please, spare me the analysis. Go without me. Did you lose your hope? When you dive, do you ever forget to go back up to the surface? What the hell are you talking about? You don't just sit on the bottom hoping something will push you back up. You have to breathe, you go. You're right, Max. Hope is pointless. Unless you do something to help make it happen. That's not like him. Kevin, if we can find out exactly what happened down at the plane wreck, it may help us find Robin. We don't know what the cargo is. It could have contributed to the accident. And Daniel's an expert diver. Let's go get my boat. Who was that? Just some salespeople. You get some rest. When all this is over, you and me will have that tortellini dinner we were planning. Maybe a stroll along the beach. Nice romantic stroll through Birdie Dew and broken beer bottles. I thought you'd like that beach. Look, you don't have to do this. I could go alone. I and mean, I'm sure Banning wouldn't... One last dive. And then we'll have a lifetime of walks together. Um, you'll be fine, Nathaniel. Of course I will. If you need anything, just say the word. I won't need anything. Please be careful. Okay. Let's make this quick.
Tell me what the hell is going on. home now. Thank you again. Come on, hon. Such a nice couple. I was just thinking about a story I could write. Want to hear it? Once upon a time, there was this little fishy that lived in the big sea. And all his fishy friends and family were happy there. Going to school. Eating seaweed. <laughs> Till one day, big shark came by. Ate them all up. All except for the little fishy. Poor guy. Well, the little fellow wanted revenge. Little did he know, though, by nature, sharks are eating machines that never stop swimming or they will die. One day, when the little fishy finally found the shark, he couldn't kill it. Not because he was smaller or weaker. Just because he was a polite little fish. Well, and that's a pretty sad story. True one, too. Daniel, what are you doing? I was thinking, why would Max and Robin do this? I don't know. Maybe they're using the community's concern for Robin to hide the fact that they're connected to Banning. We need to find out what's in that container. We should talk to Max. We can't trust anything he tells us. He was so worried about Rob, and he wasn't lying about that. I would have known. How? Intuition, maybe? I can usually tell when someone's hiding something. Sometimes people don't want you to know what they're really feeling. Like back at the boat. You pretended that you were all right. 
Why were you upset? You're not the only one who hopes for things. Do you hope that I'll see my home again, too? If you had your ship, found Banning, you'd just go back? Yes. My mission would be complete. up there. She's wedged in real good. It's as if someone put her there. Robin. Dent must have gotten her. Max. That smell. Max. Here he is. You gotta get him out of here. Hurry. What are you doing to him? I'm trying to save his life. Max? Where's Robin? Uh, we saw you diving with her. Wasn't Robin. Uh, it looked like her. Oh my god. Max, it's okay. You're right, that wasn't Robin. But your wife is still alive. Excuse me, where's Robin Morley? Check down there. How will I know it's really her? We were there when they found her. Trust us, she's here. And that thing was with you. Did it touch you? Of course. I thought it was Robin. Why? As far as we can tell, it collects a blueprint from anyone it touches. So it can become any person it wants to. That means it touched Robin. Max, get Robin out of here. They'll be coming for you. Where are you going? Banning will probably fly the container out of here, so... The closest airport's three hours from here. Where can you land a helicopter? The boatyard. Fine, Rob. Where's the helicopter? It'll be right here, sir. How are we going to get over there without them seeing us?
I've never seen a nuclear weapon before, but I'm sure that isn't... I know this. It's a fuel cell from my ship. Why would Banning send it to Russia? He said Kerbutsk dismantles weapons. Then they can construct one, too. The fuel contained in here is enough power to get me home. Wouldn't Banning need it if he wanted to use your ship? Then his own must be intact. This just in. Salvage diver Robin Morley was found alive tonight on the beach near Michigan Harbor. Max. We have to get to him. Make sure the container finds its way onto the helicopter. I have something to finish. My wife, uh, Robin Morley, is here. Check the ER. Excuse me. I'm looking for my wife. I just told you, the ER. You just told me. Yes, two seconds ago. Sir, uh, this way's faster. Take us to the boatyard. Why? You don't want to go there. Honey, let's... Shut up. Take me to the boatyard. Completed and 
everything is set straight. Until then, I'm living in hope. Me too. Next on Sci Fi, Farscape. Unlock the action. Unlock the power. Unlock the gate. Stargate SG-1 Monday, tonight from 7 to 11 on Sci-Fi. This Friday on an all-new Gene Roddenberry's Andromeda. The army of the future will rid our universe of your kind. A doomsday weapon for a war of vengeance. Find a way to destroy it. Gene Roddenberry's Andromeda, now on Sci-Fi. All new, this Friday at 8. Some stories are too big. To be told in two hours. April is miniseries month. 30 days, 22 incredible stories. All this month on Sci-Fi. Want to know what it takes to bring legendary vampire hunter Van Helsing to life? Sci-Fi's got your chance to ask the cast and crew. Log on to sci-fi.com slash inside and submit your question. Then watch Sci-Fi on May 2nd for their answer during a full day of monster movies.